what do we need to do with this image to turn it into a painting? And this is the, um, this is, this is the challenge, whether you're painting from a photograph or painting from life. Um, almost never will the landscape give you a painting. You have to take pieces of the landscape and compose it into a painting, right? Um, if you're dependent on just copying photographs, it'll always be a struggle to make good paintings. But if you take photographs and you compose them into a, um, into a good design, you'll almost always have a winner. And I'm gonna go so far as to say that you can take the landscape and make a beautiful design and then do a very poor job on the execution, meaning it's just not painted that well. The brush strokes aren't pretty. Um, the colors feel a little harsh. You know, There are lots of things that are issues with the painting, but if it's a good design, I think, my opinion, but in looking at uh, thousands of landscapes over the last uh, several, many years here, um, I think that a landscape painting that is designed well is going to be, and painted poorly, right, in this example, is going to be better, a better painting, more resolved than a poorly designed landscape that is painted beautifully, right? So I'm saying that just to start off with the emphasis on the importance of design. So this is a great, it's a great source. Um, one thing to be careful of right away is that we have these, um, these parallel lines. So how, how will we deal with that exactly? I noticed that nothing, so if this is a, oops, if this is a straight line, nothing, there aren't any completely flat straight lines in here. Everything's at an angle coming down this way, right? And that, that might, I think that that will be a problem. So we wouldn't want to do an exact copy of that. I also noticed that even though we have a beautiful lead in from the bottom, which is an important thing in landscape painting to have that lead in that way, that interesting path for your eye to follow up into the painting, that we're completely blocked off from the rest of the painting, right? Um, I think that's always going to be a problem. I don't think you well, I think almost always you don't want to have a solid fence or fence line blocking your view of, or blocking your path. You want to feel like there's a way into the painting, right? So, so just looking at the source, as lovely as it is, these lines, every single one of them being close to parallel and having a block at the front of the painting, um, needs to be resolved, right? And the, the way not to do that is to, um, well, I'll just start painting and I'll figure it out when I get halfway through the painting, right? Um, and you can, and I have, and it's, it's just, it's so discouraging when you get halfway through the painting and you can't come up with a good resolution, right? And there are things that you've painted beautifully and uh, they have to be painted out or even exacto knife, you know, reduce the painting to try to save the composition, those sorts of things that you do. So the way to start this is with a thumbnail, just a small drawing to work out the, um, to work out the, um, the design before you actually start painting.